this property we're leasing uh, goes back a couple of generations to my great great grandfather and so this land was never a row crop uh, we, we were actually going to be able to do something that is not on row crop and have to regenerate it Well, we don't have to do the entire area, but I think this is going to be. Means I can plant flowers like for pollinators too. You see, you had a lot of butterflies. And... Well, we got our first tarps laid out. Got all this high grass weeds cut down. Hit it with a zero turn. Now we've got our tarps down, and we need more tarps. Um, we're going to try to do a market garden here, see what we can do in this, get some seeds in the ground before winter hits, and see what we can start generating uh, right away. Uh, added benefit, like I said, this property has been in my family going back um, four generations. So something really to be said about farming on land that my grandfather ran cows on that my great-grandfather ran cows on they rotated my mom told me stories about she was a teenager this road that comes it's a gravel road it's our family road that comes down through here and my great-grandpa would run cows from this pasture across the street to his other pasture and i mean they didn't they didn't have fences going across the road or nothing the cows just went across the road and she said you would just have to wait till they cleared out before you could drive through and uh if you were if you were running late headed out it, you didn't have any choice it's one road in one road out that's all you had so there wasn't no turn around go another way you just had to wait till all the cows finally crossed the road uh, so they were doing some uh, not, not daily rotational grazing, but they were doing some rotational grazing back then. Um, she even made the point that you could tell when the cows went to a different pasture just by the taste of the milk. So the battery cut off, of course. I don't know how much you got to see, but I'm not a big fan of tilling, but this uh, this ground has got all kinds of saplings and vines. You can see some of these roots that I pulled up out of here. There ain't no way I was gonna better do a good garden. You can see I still got, still got quite a bit to go. So I used the uh, tines on that box blade to run through here, back and forth each direction. And uh, there's still, I mean, it broke, it broke a ton of it up, but uh, still got, still got quite a bit to go. 
but this is going to be one plat. I'm going to do the other plat over here. So I'm going to bring, my plan is to bring a couple of our Cooney Cooney pigs over here, set up a net, and have them work this area. But if the ground is loose enough for them, they should be able to root through there and hopefully that'll tear through all this grass. And we'll just have them work on this whole area. We'll bring in a little bit of compost, add to their manure, cover it with our silage tarp. let it rest. Have a great day. And this is Robin with Lebonby Farm. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We sure would appreciate it.